am Saijit and welcome back to my channel Saijit and today's video is to all do the 4G plus aggregation support test in the IQ Z3 device after recent software update. Yes friends, lot of users I am getting a plenty of questions on this 4G plus aggregation. Can you please focus on the IQ Z3 not on other smartphones? So that is the reason I thought of making a video on this 4G plus aggregation support test in the IQ Z3. I will be using the Geo SIM card. So with this Geo SIM card, I can get the 4G plus aggregation in the IQ 7. As you can see, it's the IQ7, not only in the IQ7, even in the other smartphones, like even in the Poco X3. So this is a normal Poco X3, I can get the 4G plus aggregation in this room. But in the IQ Z3, I cannot get the 4G plus aggregation, that is before the update. But let's see, after the update, whether I will be able to get any kind of 4G plus aggregation or not. So that is what this video is about. I'll try to show you live in the demo as well. In this video, I'll try to show you same sim I'll try to use in other phone and I'll get the 4G place in that phone, but not 4G place in the IQ Z3 device before the update. But after the update, let's see whether the things got changed or not. And I was able to get the signals, but I cannot see any kind of sign regarding the 4G place. As you can see friends clearly, there is no 4G plus sign, but let me try to open the NetMonster application and exactly show you what is the band I'm getting right now. And I'm getting the 850 band. So there is no 4G plus, but my location indoor, it's supported with the 4G plus. I can get 4G plus in uh, other phones as well. Not only premium phones, Not don't forget about this IQ7 device. So just remember about Poco X3, which is priced less than this phone and which released uh, very old as well, but still this phone can get the 4G plus. So right now I'm not getting any 4G plus, that's the one thing, but let's do the speed test. So which is normal test which you are trying to do with the speed test. I need to clear all the background messages. So this is what I'm going to do right now using the Geo SIM card. So same Geo SIM card. This is the indoor condition I'm trying to do. So let's see friends now what will be the speeds in this uh, phone. I'll try to compare with the previous results as well. But right now I'm getting about close to 1 Mbps I think. Less than 1 Mbps. As you can see less than 1 Mbps and with this kind of speed as you can see. So in case if you want me to compare with the other phones. So make sure to comment below. So I'm not uploading more videos on the IQ Z3 because I'm not getting so many comments and requests. So in case if you are using the IQ Z3 device, try to comment and try to ask what you want. Then definitely I can upload a video on that particular topic. So right now as you can see friends, so these are the speeds I'm getting. So even before also I used to get same kind of speed, 6 Mbps, 5 Mbps, this is indoor condition. I'm trying, trying to talk about 3 Mbps, not much. And I'll try to do the test one more time. So let's do the second time and let's see whether the results will be improved or not so in my room i can get the speeds up to close to 25 mbps yes there are some phones which got up to 25 mbps as well and 20 mbps and iq7 can get up to close to i think uh, maybe 20 mbps or 16 mbps in the iq7 i'll try to do side by side comparison so maybe to today or tomorrow i'll try to do depending on the comments so i can do the video as soon as possible so right, right now the test is not even continuing. Let me try to use another application, maybe the fast application. So this application might be good. So this will give the results. Sometimes the speed test application may take some time to connect to the server. That is the reason. And right now we are getting about close to 1.4 Mbps. So in the speed test application, we did get only 1 Mbps and something around that. So 1.4, not bad, 1.4. And there is no 4G plus. So for me, I cannot see any improvement in the network speed, no. There is no improvement in the network speed with this update. That is what uh, my conclusion I can give, definitely give you right now. And I'll try to use the same SIM card and I'll try to show you in that phone I can get the 4G plus. So you should know. So I'm trying to do in front of the camera only friends. So let me try to use the same Geo SIM. I'll try to do in-depth testing as well maybe the an another video. But in this video I just want to show you as a proof. So what is happening with uh, this IQ Z3. It's not acceptable because for this kind of price range, we should not get this kind of troubles at all. So let me try to keep exactly. So same SIM I'm trying to keep in both phones. So SIM card or SIM, SIM card 1 or SIM, SIM 2 doesn't matter friends. Don't worry about that SIM 1 and SIM 2. There's nothing much uh, problem. I'm disabling the Wi-Fi and uh, 4G is on as you can see. Right now you can get the 4G place with same SIM card. With same SIM card in this location, I got the 4G place as you can see friends absolutely using Geo SIM only. That's fantastic friends. As you can, let me just show you when the NetMonster application. I'll try to do the side by side comparison because this is not the video designed for the both phones side by side. That is the reason I, I cannot talk much. But using the NetMonster application as well, I'll try to show you. I'm getting LTA 850, same band. 
850 but I'm getting LTE aggregation in this phone but no aggregation in this IQ Z3 device. That's the biggest problem for the IQ Z3 users. Sorry for that friends. So there's no aggregation. I'm not getting anything but I can get aggregation in this phone. In front of the camera only you did see same SIM card no use. I'll try to do the side by side comparison later on. So thank you for watching this video and final conclusion is that I cannot see any improvement in the network in my device. So I'll try to do the testing with Airtel idea. I'll try to do those videos as well. Stay tuned for those videos in case if you are interested. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video friends. Until then, bye.